Good evening. Today is Friday, October 20th, 2023. Jeff Date for Monday the 23rd. All right, let's go. Well, not a bad day to portfolio overall. Let's not get too excited about one day or the other, but it is kind of nice when the market comes unglued a bit and we are surviving. And knock on wood, we've been doing pretty good in spite of the downturn. And the secret longer term to success is surviving these ugly markets. With that said, it's definitely an environment of less is more. And I think now you probably have the idea or getting the idea of why, why I've been so selective. And there just hasn't been a whole lot out there. Now, that doesn't mean that if we find something that looks good, we won't go after it. But for now, let's just sit on our hands and wait for those setup. PBF is uh, set up as a short in here. I want to show you this just because the energies are setting up more as shorts than longs. And this would be one example. There's a coal stock too that's uh, kind of looking iffy in here. Although one is trending, but most of the energies that I'm seeing are, are not looking so hot in spite of energies doing fairly well overall. But we'll get to that in just one second. ELF still potential shorts to the downside. No, uh, not a whole lot of support below should it crack in general. Let's take a look at the portfolio. And then we'll pop up to the overall market and look at some sector stuff. ELF selling off a little bit in here, better than the poke in the eye. Not a new closing low, so no need to adjust the stops on that one. Uh, marginal new lows in KBH. We'll just play a little keep the change for today. If it continues to move, then we'll start bumping that stop down once again on that one. KNF pulling back in here, back to the middle of its base. On your stops just in case on that one. LFMD kind of hanging in there, looking pretty good so far. Not too far from these multi-year highs. Let's take a look at the overall market and some sector action. First of all, let's take a look at the S&P 500 getting whacked pretty hard in here down to one, around one and a quarter percent. This is fairly ugly and it puts you right at these multi-month lows, lowest levels since way back in June. So we've given up pretty much 100% of that rally. And that's not a good thing, obviously. I'll let you know as soon as we get a TFM 10% system, but we're closing in on a sell signal there quickly. Take a look at the NASDAQ getting whacked in here pretty hard, down to one and a half percent. It too at these multi month lows. So that's looking pretty ugly. It's selling off hard out of that inverted cup and handle we've been talking about. Take a look at the Rusty. This is where it gets ugly. Rusty down one and a third percent right at these multi month lows, almost closing in on multi year lows. And as I've been saying, I don't see a whole lot of support until we get down here to the lows that we hit during the pandemic. Interesting that Bitcoin is doing pretty good. GBTC at multi-month highs in here. The futures, Beto doing okay too, right at multi-month highs too. Good to see a little, I guess it's flight to safety or whatever, but that's good. That's that's kind of what I was hoping Bitcoin would do. And that's what I was talking about in last night's The Weekend Charts. Gold off its best levels, but still up a smidge in here. Good to see at least something going up in spite of the overall market. Energies did stall out. Like I've been saying, seeing shorts here. I know I've saying, said that at nausea, but seeing some shorts beginning to set up here. And also, it just it just looks like a big retrace. It just can't get to brand new highs. One day at a time. Stop me if you heard that before, but that's something to pay attention to. As far as the sectors of downtrends, pretty much all of them just one after another there's financials take a look at drugs again they had the big retrace rally stalled out and it came right back in biotechnology and a downtrend as you can see right here at these multi-month lows health services the list goes on and on manufacturing mnc manufacturing in fact i got whacked pretty hard in here banging out new lows with vigor home builders obviously right here at these brand new multi-month lows again the list goes on and on and on transports brand new lows there to semiconductor selling up fairly hard again falling tops here as i've been saying quite a bit let's take a look at the consumer staples and this is one thing that uh, you guys were asking me uh, to use a few of these uh, sector etfs and, and i'm going to start watching these more and more i do pay attention to them but i'll put them in the list and, and keep an eye on them and there's really no need to point them out. I think the, the MGs do just as well, but on occasion if something's set up. I wouldn't rush out and short this, but it is kind of set up as a pullback in the longer term downtrend if you felt like you really had to do something. But for now, let's just sit on our hands, let things shake out. If you have any questions, david davelandry.com. Also, you could hit me up in Facebook Messenger. That seems to be 
working fairly well as of late. Everybody enjoy your weekend. I will be checking in on Facebook a few times. So, again, feel free to hit me up there. Everybody have a great weekend. Again, and we'll talk again on Monday.